Hello my loves, welcome back. So today we are doing Their Hidden Truths. Ooh, it's super exciting, super exciting reading today. Um, so I've got two decks for you to pick from. This is the Game of Thrones Tarot, this is the Biddy Tarot, Brady Tarot. Haven't used it in forever. Deck number one and deck number two. Both quite masculine energy decks, but I was quite drawn to that for this reading. Um, so let's go. What are the hidden truths? So as always, it works in the collective energy between you, between you all. Take what resonates and leave what doesn't. Don't stress, don't stress, don't sweat the small stuff. Um, and if you need me for private readings, you can find me on Mystic Love Tarot on Instagram, um, where I will be doing updates on when I am around with maternity leave. So... What are their hidden truths? Let's have a look. We've got the Three of Pentacles. We've got the Hanged Man. Feels like ages since I've used this Game of Thrones tarot. We've got the Nine of Swords. I'm going to stop at four. I feel like we don't need any more. And we've got the Page of Cups. So your person, the overall feeling of these cards is a bit of a little mixed bag going on. There's nothing too major going on with these hidden truths. So there's no secrets. There's nothing that you aren't fully aware of. But there's probably stuff that they haven't told you um, rather than like, oh, my God, I've got this deep, dark secret. It's more stuff that they perhaps haven't communicated with you. Now, the first thing that's coming up is the three of pentacles. Now, this is often my third party card. It can be collaborations with other people, but when we're looking at a relationship perspective, this is normally an influence of something or someone else. Now, because like I said to you, these aren't like really dark secrets, nothing too terrible coming up over here. This is probably someone from their past or that's currently in their present that is affecting their relationship with you. So it could be that they've had difficult times. It could be other people, like I said, influenced it. Family, friends, kids, um, other people that perhaps they were seeing. You've got this influence of someone else being involved in this connection and perhaps their emotions haven't fully faded for them. They've had stability and security with this person before in the past um, and because of that it's still very much lingering in their energy so they might not be over exes etc etc so this is the first thing that you 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 probably know some extent of it um but it's just reiterating that point of view that they've expressed some of it to you but there could be more going on than meets the eye there but like i said it's not deception and it's not lies it's just that this is something that perhaps they haven't been able to fully open up and communicate with you about okay um because they want to push you away they don't want to push you away they've got the hanged man coming next to it okay so there's third party influence over here um meaning that they aren't quite sure how to handle the situation with you now the x on this i don't know um if you guys know much about the runes but the x in at the X of the runes um the elder food up runes is always about gifts okay and whenever in Britain, we tend to send kisses at the end of the messages. So whenever we, I'm going to sneeze, that's why I keep touching my nose. <laughs> There's a kids TV program called The Queen's Nose as well. You used to rub the Queen's nose on the penny and your wishes come true, but I'm just, just got a tickle. Anyway, on the Elder Food Art Grooms, they have X's on them. And um, this is a sign of gifts. Now in England, whenever we send, well, it would have been letters back in the day, but now taxes. British people tend to put kisses like exes. And the reason for that is because these were initially gifts that we would give people. So whenever we sent a message, we would send three gifts with it, the three kisses. OK, so that's how it's been adapted over the time. So even though it's a bit stagnant at the moment, there is still kind of this love energy. There's still the kisses energy and there's still gift energy going on. OK, so stagnancy from things that are happening in their life or perhaps in their life previously, but their emotions for you are real, even though it's the hanged man. OK, so when this is the stagnancy, when things are stagnant is when the biggest situations come to light. So your person might not be making much moves towards you at the moment as they're kind of processing what's happening here. Um, but there is this intention of these kind of gifts of emotions, of hearts and, and feelings. We've got the Nine of Swords coming up. So this is their fears. This is their mental anguish. This is their confusion over it all. Perhaps insomnia. They're, they're probably 
analysing, over-analysing, over-processing and coming up with two and two and making about 50 at this point in time. So they are going into their thought process and, and really processing all of this stuff over here. So they know that they have feelings for you. They're just not quite sure how to progress things at this moment in time because of this energy over here, this third party influence. And that's giving them these kind of mental anguish. Where do we go? What happens now? What, what are my next steps? What am I going to do? Almost like kind of waking them up with a little bit of night sweats as well. Um, so the last card you guys got was the Page of Cups. So when we're looking at their hidden thoughts, uh, their, their secret thoughts for you, and um, this is them messaging you based on, you know, emotions okay so they, they want to speak to you they want to communicate with you they can see there is a future with you they want that energy of the two of you being together but they're just taking their time with it they feel like they've got to move forward from this a little bit more to give you this level of commitment or, or at least messages of, of love okay there are feelings here very much so very much feelings here they've just got to get past the shadow aspects that are happening in their life at this point in time and that's the hidden truth of it okay so going through these darker souls but seeing that there is a light at the end of the tunnel and you are that light and they want to offer you those emotions and those love they've just got to get through these heavier thoughts that are happening at this point in time and that is their hidden thoughts about you the hidden truth oh that's interesting okay so i'm just gonna have a swig of coffee and then I'm going to do deck number two. Um, so if you just tapped in, tuned in, turned on to deck number two, I am on maternity leave at the moment. But you can follow me on Instagram, Mr. Love Tarot, little blue tick. And I'll tell you the days that I am doing private readings. This works on a collective energy. Okay, so in all your people's energy, everyone that you're asking about, into all of their energy, which is what I do when I shuffle. Um, and it pulls out the mutual energy between you all. So what are the hidden, the hidden thoughts? Breach. What are the hidden thoughts? I haven't used this deck in ages. Lost so I'll link those two together because they jumped out together. The hidden truths, swiftness. Okay, so you've got for those of you that read tarot, you've got the King of Swords, you've got the King of Wands, and you've got the Seven of Cups. You've also got the Five of Cups, the Hermit, and the Eight of Wands. Okay, so I'm going to start at the very beginning, and we'll work our way through. So, we have the two kings at the top, and in the middle of them, we have the Seven of Cups. So, logic... Okay, your person's acting quite logically at the moment, but they've also got this very strong, passionate energy towards you. Now, the energy between you guys is a little bit stuck at the moment, and this is what, what breach means. Um, so it takes me back to my son being a breach baby, and I had to have the cesarean to kind of to, to get him out because he was stuck. There was no way I'd have been able to have given natural birth. And 100 years ago, I absolutely would not have made it. So this energy that's going on here is a little bit stuck. There should be some kind of flow going on between the two of you. But they're very much stuck in their mind and they're stuck in this sexual energy. They're lacking emotions and they're lacking stability and security when it comes to the connection. I'm not saying they haven't got feelings for you. When it comes to the connection, they, they're stagnating it because they're thinking, well, I'm going to be logical about it all. Might not work at this point in time, but I have got this sexual desire. So they're avoiding emotions and they're avoiding stability and security. And that's what's making the situation get a bit stuck. With it being the Seven of Cups, we've got this confusion that's going on with it as well. So it's like they're waking up and the one moment they're like, yeah, this is what I want. I think this could work out. And then the next second they're like, oh, I don't know, I don't know. And there's a level of indecisiveness going on with them as well. Um, they're trying to just go with the flow of it. But they're not really getting anywhere with it. And the reason why is because their logic is what is taking them over. I feel like they've been burnt in the past with this being a vulture. Okay, I feel like they've been burnt in the past. And they've kind of had to pick up the pieces of, I just got Paloma Fave picking up the pieces of what's happened in their life. 
okay they've had to go around pick up the pieces of all these heavier energies and that they're healing from that or have healed from that but now it's kind of had a bit of a detrimental effect and it's left this little bit of baggage and that's why they act more on logic than anything else with the page uh, sorry with the king of wands over here this is the the passionate desires but it's also an eagle an eagle symbolize freedom so you've got that they could see this moves forward but they're in the head over it all because of stuff that's happened in the past and equally because they even though they have this desire for you they still desire their freedom and that's what's stagnating the energy that's what's making this choppy choppy waters the other two cards over here we've got sorry three cards you've got the loss and um five of cups and the hermit so loss coming up grief stuff again that's happened in the past that's that's made them a little bit more icy towards you so they are reflecting with the hermit they're going inside of themselves to work out what you want what they want possibly you guys are not in contact at the moment as well with the hermit coming up they're working through what it is that they want um and having this sense of grief and loss that comes with it this could also be in relation to you okay so if they have gone ghost on you if things have gone quiet or you've had a big fallout they are sad about that at this moment in time as well they're grieving through that but they're just trying to act on logic rather than emotions because if they act on logic then it doesn't hurt them so much when they act on emotions they feel this pain you know, so th that's why they are acting the way they are acting. However, the good news is we have got movement coming in from them as well. So even though it, it might be stagnant at the moment and it's a bit like icy, you're feeling a bit cold and, you know, kind of put out into the dark. Even though that's happening, you've still got movement coming in from them. So this is short lived. OK, it's short lived. But when we're asking the question about their hidden truths, um, it's saying that the energy is stagnated at the moment because they're trying to act on logic or sexual desire rather than emotions because when they act on emotions they get hurt um they're a bit confused over it all so they're reflecting on it but you have got movement heading towards you soon soon and if you need to look at timings again you can find me on instagram mr love tarot and we can do that on a private reading and um, obviously spaces are super super limited so you'll want to book uh for the next days that are coming up when i am on leave well off leave and on work <laughs> that's the right way to say it and that is deck number two i love you all and i'll speak to you later ciao